Hey everybody, I'm Ryan, this is the Build to Make, and today I'm going to show you how I built this foldable laptop stand. So I start off this project by laying down some foam board to allow me to cut my plywood with the whole piece supported. Out of this scrap, I marked out the length of the top board. I used the drywall square to mark out a very straight line. Using my circular saw, I made my cut. You could use a straight edge here, but I just took my time following my line. Then I measured the width of my top and made my cut the same way. Out of the cutoff from the top, I needed to cut three strips. So I first cut the board to length, so all my strips would be the same. These strips would be the apron on the stand. Using a dowel I planned on using, I measured how wide my strips would be for the apron. Using that measurement, I ran the board through the table saw to get my three strips. Two of these boards will be the long sides of the apron, but this third board needed to be cut down for the shorter sides, so I did so using my cross cut attachment on the table saw. I wanted to give my apron some curves, so I made some marks, and using a roll of plumber's thread tape, I made some gentle curves. I repeated the same thing on all sides of my apron. These curves were then cut out using my jigsaw. The two longer sides needed holes drilled through the two ends for dowels to pass through. So using some painter's tape, I taped the pieces together to drill my holes. I used a Forstner bit the same size as my dowel to drill my holes. Now onto the legs. I first cut the scrap down to length using the table saw. Then I cut four strips out to get my four legs. Once cut, I taped two sets of two legs. Using the same roll of plumber's tape, I drew curves on both ends and cut using my jigsaw. I could then mark where I'll drill my holes for my dowels. Now everything was cut and I could glue the apron to the top. I first marked out where I wanted it to sit. Then I needed to cut my dowel so I could use them as alignment for the glue up. I slid the sides on the dowel and applied some glue to the bottom. By having the dowels in now, I know everything will line up later. I used some brad nails so I could continue on. I installed the shorter sides the same way. I removed the dowels and gave the whole thing a quick sanding starting with 120 grit and going up to 220 grit. Also I will have links to all the tools I use in this video in the description below so please check it out. Now I can slide my legs on the dowels and through the aprons. The two sets of legs will pivot on the bottom dowel. I didn't use glue on these dowels because they were such a tight fit, 
but I did end up putting a screw through the bottom one so it didn't pivot with the leg assembly. The ends of the dowels could then be cut flush using a handsaw and then sanded down smooth. I then painted the whole thing white, but afterwards decided I wanted to paint it gray. So once the white was dry, I sanded it down and sprayed on several coats of gray spray paint. And with that, this project was complete. This makes working on the couch or bed so much more comfortable and I love how it can be folded down and stored away when not in use. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you next time.